What up, YouTube? We're back. Yeah. Hi, guys. We're back. Another video for you guys. We're too. back. And then uh, we have... um, What do we have now? Oh. We have a true drink with my aunt and uncle on car videos. Did you hear it? Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get my bad boy right. Okay. As you can see. What's this one? Mm. You don't look like a bad boy. Just forget it. It's not. It's, it's not going to happen I for you. Never be a bad it's boy. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um. I mean, have you had Brazilian black? Who's your favorite family member? I, I, everybody has favorite family member. I'm everybody's body's favorite family member. That's yeah, that's what you think. That's what I know. I don't think that. That's why everybody loves people, me. I don't know why people always lie that especially parents are like, oh, who's your favorite child? I'm every. I'm even their favorite child. They know that shit. No, that's sorry, me. I know that. No, that your no, your the, your no I'm actually the one. She's the most decent. She's the most oh, like, wow. easy going. She seems put this together. one. That one is easy going. You don't she's know. Very put together. You? Yeah, you're just me, a bag of me, chaos. Yeah, I'm just like like re a rebel. Ba a black sheep. Bag of chaos. That's what you are. Mm. Anyway, let's let's check out. Let's video. check it out. Hi, I'm Ella. Uh, this is my uncle. I'm Uncle David. I was in the birthing room. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I'm Champagne. I'm Deborah. And she's my auntie. I'm Trong. I'm Caitlin. This is my uncle. Are you nervous at all? Yes. Can uh, we do a shot? Uncle, okay. Yes, please. Uh, 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 my auntie is a man now. <laughs> You're bad. The Marys is a man now. Shout out to Kendrick. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody actually cheers the liquor bottle. The bottom? <laughs> to family. To family. Cheers! Oh, wow. Oh, this is the open smith. What? Between you and my mom, who was the golden child and who was the fuck up? I was the golden child. Then <laughs> who was the golden child? Like when you were in your 20s? When they kicked me out of the house at 16. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> your mom was the fuck up. Your dad was the fuck up. Because he had you guys very young. Yes. You were a happy accident. That's okay. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Okay, wait, can you, will you? Will I elaborate on that? Please. This is not going to be fun. That's but fine, it doesn't have to be funny. I was just smoking a little pot. <laughs> and they said, you know, stop doing drugs or you can't live here. And I was like, that's an option? I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely the best. He, he was the black sheep of the family. Yeah, man. He had to go. There's always one. Yeah. I'm the one. Yeah, that's not me. Yeah. Yeah, you are the golden child. Am I? Yes, you are. I don't think so. Your mom, yeah, your mom's golden child. You know, my mom, my dad doesn't really care. Your dad is your sister that is yeah, golden child. So, so your parents each have Yeah. They are golden child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's sad. But anyway. God, <laughs> so I, I so I take after you. Yes. <laughs> What's the meanest thing one of your parents has said about me? <laughs> Do I wanna know? Drink. <laughs> Just have a drink. I don't wanna know. They've never said anything bad about you. Oh, like, okay. They've never, okay. they've always been like, oh yeah, Jujum just likes the foo foo things. That's my dad. Because I'm the gunkle of the family. Yeah. The what? The, the gay, gay uncle. uncle. Oh, she's so selfish. That's a word. A gunkle. A okay. gunkle. Okay. Things like that. They just to come up with a lot of. Dive vocabulary. We need to freshen up. And that's a lie. That's a, that gets lying. That, that, that father says a lot of watching about their uncle, but mm. she doesn't want to say because, you know. Yes, she, she doesn't does want she. to look. She mm. doesn't want to make her dad look like a. Who is he? You know. Let him drink a little bit. It will come out. Yeah. She's such a diva. That's the one. Is Mike's like she's such a diva. I'm not selfish though. I don't agree with the selfish. I don't agree with the selfish. Thing. I'm I'm generous. If I think your dad and your mom have both like they've grown up in Seattle. Their foundation is in Seattle. They've become who they are here. Yeah. And I've like traveled the world. For him, that occurs as like ah, oh, she's flighty. She doesn't have any. I don't have kids. Right. I like to go sit on beaches in <laughs> tropical places randomly. <laughs> that makes me a little bougie. Did you think? You think? Hold on. Do you think? What's your thoughts on that? That what? Like that kind of auntie? Cause we have those people. Those have aunties that. Family, yeah. I feel like those aunties we used, they used to look at them as when we, I was younger they used to look at all those aunties that you know are rich and they can travel everywhere but they are not married they are not they they used to feel like oh I feel I feel like from their parents sometimes just from a place of jealousy sometimes 
I feel so. Just about what? Just about you not being able to. I think it's the other way around. Really as that no i don't think so because you, you notice that it is not all it's not the womb it's not the auntie that is talking true it's always the like the ones yeah. that are uh in are married or what do you think those aunties are really oh. really happy this may be their own because form I, of see, happiness. I see i see i see some cannot, of them now and i'm like sometimes see they feel they look very lonely sometimes they are lonely but it's not as if they are not happy maybe oh they just need maybe they need um a man but not as if oh generally they are not happy people you know my theory it's not like it's a theory but i think i think those people want men to or they want to be with people but now they've built such like an aura of like oh i can be myself i'm the fly unk and i'm the aunt who has so many nephews and nieces mm. that they feel like okay they are fine with it but deep down they're like i wish i could get that on them now if they want if they want a village if they want a man they will find a man men are easy to find no no so that but so see, no 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 so it's not I'm, men are easy to find when you're in your 20s yeah but if if, if, if you're they, if they okay, want, okay look at this lady if they now, decide she's to like, live their life freely right and not have um kids or anything that's her business it's not a knock that's her it's not a knock i, yeah. I was asking like a very interesting she can like, be, she I, can be happy think, but she can it depends on her now because now I feel like they, they didn't they, it happened to a point now that they didn't want men maybe they were not just ready at the time maybe mm, they were just yeah, a but lot now of they're ready, things yeah, yeah. but it now got to a point where oh age was no longer on their side so now mm-hmm. they have to play the fly ant and then they have to take all these trips or the or no, to like overcompensate so. for all those things. maybe they want to like be happy with other 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 things but being I with someone think, I don't think so I mean, because I think, sometimes the sometimes when I look at that situation of oh that auntie that I, i'm always, not saying it's as a knock i actually no. feel bad that because i don't, I, I don't know you know why i feel like that you know because i know innately um even me as a guy as a man right i will feel like that at that age that oh i don't have like anybody to like pass on legacy or like it's never too late you, you get what i'm saying right i don't know or like someone to share those moments with like that i know genuinely cares or i care about and the person cares about me that kind of thing mm. i don't know I, it's a bit nobody wants to be alone that's just the truth let's not like yeah, nobody wants to be alone so i'm saying like yeah if oh she found herself she enjoyed this life and oh she now wants to settle down fine yeah. right well i'm saying like all those things of your aunties one of your aunties always being like the rich aunt that yeah travels and this one the time you hear more shit about has, the aunties from your either your parents yeah or some other like married auntie or some a stranger woman that uh, like, a brought, like a hater so sometimes sometimes always come is comes i always think that it comes from a place of jealousy because why number one you can't do what the person is doing because you have kids because even as, as much as you want to you, as you don't want to be alone and you're now in a relationship sometimes you still want some time for yourself and sometimes you don't yeah, have that. I feel like you can't. Do yeah. That. So when yeah, this person is doing this because and you living this life, yes, when she this person is doing, and she doesn't, you seem to think, oh, she's trying her life away. She's doing this one, but at the same time, you know, you want to do I that know, shit. I, I, I would want to talk. I would want to talk to one of those kind of people one day. Mm. Like the ones that will be real with themselves, not the ones that will lie and be like, yeah, I'm enjoying my life at mm. fifty without kids and no husband. Mm. I, I, to be honest, they are not. I know yeah. they are not. But I only anyway. know because I don't I don't speak on people's lives. No, it's not like I don't I don't I, I just feel like I don't know. It's 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 tricky, but mm. yeah, I, I, there's nobody that wants to be alone. That that one me I know for sure. Yeah. Mom and my father would last. Hundred percent no. <laughs> no. Hundred percent no. Nope. <laughs> Still blows my mind. Blows my mind. Did you think my mom and dad would last when they first got together? <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. Nope. I love him to death, but he's always <laughs> irritating as hell. Always. Why did you think they weren't going to be together? I'm not answering that. You. <laughs> Do you get along with my father? <laughs> what qualities? Oh, wow, that uncle is hating, bro. He's not hating, baby. He's there's, not there's, a thing, there's a thing. Uh, there's a lot of things that he does not have to say. I have that remind you of my mom. Name one bad and one good. Ah, uh, the good one. You're a go getter, just like your mom. You are both loyal as can be. The bad one? Your attitude. <laughs> you are stubborn as shit. You guys get feisty. Mm-hmm. What's the angriest that you've ever seen your dad? Like, there was a time I was 13. Like, oh, you guys gotta wake up and, like, do all these chores. My brother is like, like can you stop yelling? 
my dad got really angry and then picked him up and like forced him against the fridge kind of thing. That's sad, but at the same time, it's like not unexpected yeah. with our family. Mm -hmm. Name three well, annoying qualities, qualities you'd like to see me change. Got you. <laughs> you be loud. Every time I call you, you're sleeping and you drive like a race car driver. Ricky Bobby, baby. No. <laughs> Ricky Bobby, I'm gonna go fast. Your nerves bad. Your loudness, I love you, but it does cause me anxiety. Easy break. I like the honesty. <laughs> Black people are always gonna be honest. Anyway, you trust them to keep it real too every time. So because I'm sad and just be like, okay, oh. that really hurt my feelings, but alright, I love you. He's so mean. <laughs> What have you come to me for before going to your parents? When I found out I was pregnant, you was the first person I called. Even before telling my baby's dad. What is something you love about me and that other people don't understand? You know, we were both born into a family where we were expected to get married, have kids, and seeing you like defy all of that but still be happy has definitely impacted me. Yeah, you paved the way for me. <laughs> Okay, um, Am I um, your favorite niece? I already know. Okay. Okay, man. Um, so I was done after the guy started doing all that. No, I got just you know. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. No. I've said everything I need to say. I got shit. Yeah. Yeah, but there's always that auntie or that uncle that. Yeah. Gonko for me, auntie. Yeah. Genko. No, not Gonko. I don't have no. <laughs> Imagine if you had one in your family and you never knew. Imagine, true. Mm, you know, because you have a lot of uncle. Africans, they hide a lot of things. Yeah, you hide a lot of So, for my. It's always the, there's always this aunt that you just gravitate towards, truly. Yeah, yeah. I, will have, yeah. I have one like on my mom's side and I have like two on my. On there's just my... one. You know, you can just tell that person like every day. Like, the no, I don't have any mean, close relationship with that with I have one that no, Okay, I have one, but I, have, I don't do that. No, she's I don't not, do that. She's with not my really auntie, my auntie, like she's my mom's friend, but she stayed with us when we were younger. Uh -huh. For a long time. So she's like so she's an auntie, like she's like my mom's sister. Oh. Uh -huh. so, okay. Yeah, anyway, that's, that's I don't auntie. have anyone that tell all this kind of secret because they'll still go and tell my mom anyway, so. I mean if they want to they can go ahead. They'll see them my mom. They'll see them my mom. Or my dad. No, I can't even talk to her my dad, my aunt is like I can't be telling them a lot of like deep, 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 deep stuff like that. It's mm. like, oh, no, it's not so okay. Mm -mm. It's a, it's, my dad will hear. <laughs> There's no harm. Village, my village will hear. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, guys. Yeah. Um, more or less, less not the video. All family has secrets, bro. All family got secrets. Shit. That's all I gotta say yeah. about that. And check your family. You might have a genko. That's the word for today. Mm, no, I don't. But I'm sure Daniel has. I don't think so. You have. Check it. I don't think so. Check it. Check it. Check it. Anyway, guys, see you guys in the next video. You can be the the gonko. Um, I don't have anybody that's a nephew now. Eh, but I'm saying, but there's still time. You know, we are you're still in your twenties. Like there's so much time to discover I'm yourself. I I always have to tell you that I'm straight. I don't you know have why. to discover yourself. See, you have to know. Like sexuality is like it's fluid. It's fluid. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> That's the word. There's still like a lot of time, so you can't just define yourself by one thing and one thing only. No, I know, I know what I want. No, you yeah. don't. You don't. Yeah. That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. All right, guys. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace. Bye. Peace, guys.